how much money will Jamaica make from its potentially newly found oil reserve? So there's been a lot of talk recently about the potential oil found in Jamaica. And I know some of you are aware of the fact that this conversation has been happening for quite some time now. Years actually. It's been happening since the 1950s. Now, I don't want you guys to see that and actually get discouraged. Yes, there have been failed wells in the past that didn't really amount to anything. But I don't, as I said before, I don't want you guys to actually get discouraged because... Well, we contrast this to Guyana. All of these red spots are field wells. Everything that you see there. And the same thing has been happening in Guyana since the 1950s. They've been trying to find oil, trying to find a place with oil, and they just couldn't do it. Um, there were some that had oil, but was not commercially viable. It wasn't until 2015 when ExxonMobil, basically an oil conglomerate, finally discovered oil in this region. And they actually started producing the oil in 2019. So even though the discovery was in 2015, the actual producing didn't start until years later. So this entire thing is a process. And as we all know now, Guyana has eventually become a net exporter of oil. But funny enough, Guyana still imports oil. As a matter of fact, they import 100% of the oil that they use. Why is that? Well, it's because Guyana doesn't have what is called an oil refinery. But, as you clearly see where I'm going with this, Jamaica has an oil refinery. Uh, you guys know it as Petra Jam. So, how the refinery works? The oil comes to Jamaica, goes to the refinery. The refinery does the process and it basically breaks up the oil into multiple different oil for different uses. And even asphalt, I, I actually found this out while I was doing the research for this video, but apparently asphalt um comes from oil well the, it's the binding agent that binds the asphalt together and i didn't know that so oil is actually a huge huge component for building roads as a matter of fact when i look at the consumption of oil in jamaica road takes up the majority literally 34 percent of all oil produced goes to road this is crazy i didn't know that and the the second is electricity generation which would be jps right um where's vehicle so i'm not even seeing vehicles here cooking and lighting so this would be like your gas stove is only five percent shipping is also huge and uh, this is basically the cruise ship coming to refill which is actually a big um, revenue generator for Petra Jam. So I didn't actually know it. So this was actually quite eye opening for me also. But yeah, so the oil goes to the refinery process. It's broken up into many pieces and then it's distributed all over the country. So it goes to the, f the electric company for the power generation. It goes to your house for your gas stove. It goes to the gas station. I, it's really an, an amazing process. Now, let's go back to the, the potential oil that Jamaica has, right? So, I've seen two figures. I've seen it go as high as 7 billion barrels, and I've seen it as low as 2.4 billion. I'm going to work with the 2.4 billion. Um, and even if it's just 2.4 billion, like the supply, if we were to supply just Jamaica alone, I think Jamaica uses 26 million barrels a year so just using that calculation of 26 barrels a year like it could still supply the country for almost a century just supplying the country alone now that wouldn't likely be the case it would probably also export some because that's just how the market works right it's dynamic 
So it wouldn't really depend on one country. So there'll probably be a lot of exporting happening. But one of the good things is that Jamaica already has a refinery. So I see some deals. There could be some deals there that could actually put Jamaica into a better position than even Guyana. Because Guyana still has to import all of their oil. And I think they import it from Trinidad and Tobago and the United States. A small percentage from Jamaica. A very, very small percentage. Um, <laughs> negligible, actually. Now, let's talk about the revenue. Because that's what we came here for. So, this is basically my revenue breakdown of the potential oil that we have so this is based on the 2.5 billion barrels um and as you can see right here we say barrels per day this is basically um how much barrels per day would be drilled right this would be the total revenue for the year if we were drilling 250,000 barrels per day and the country itself so this would be the country share of this revenue would be around 855 million dollars and some change now i know some of you is looking at that and saying six billion and the country not even get one billion from that yeah so we have to think about remember the country itself isn't the one building the well and doing all the construction and the actual work and the distribution and all of that it's the private company that is doing all of that but the country would set up some kind of revenue share system where the country benefit every time the company profit. And the formula I used here is similar to the one they have in Guyana. So 75% of the total revenue is kept back by the company for cost recovery, basically recouping all that cost for all the work that they've done. Um, but it's not profit. Right? It's just recouping back their costs, basically the money that they already spent. And then there is a 50% revenue share of the profit, the actual profit. So everything that's profit, they, the country would get 50% of the profit. And this is what it came out to be. Um, it's not a lot. I actually expect it to be a lot more, but hey it's still money that the country was not earning before and as time goes on and more barrel is drilled per day higher revenue the country would get more and also i think eventually um the cost recouping would, would go down percentage wise would go down because there will become a point where they have recovered their cost right and so the profit margin get wider and that increases the country's share. So, this is my breakdown of how much Jamaica would make um, if it was to start drilling today. It's based on oil price being at $75 now. Right now, the oil price is at 81 but you couldn't really use that because oil is very volatile. Now, over the long run, I believe oil price is going to go higher but that's just speculation, right? I have no way of actually knowing what oil price would be tomorrow, next week, next year, next five years. So I just put it at $75 per barrel as like an average. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.